All right, so now let's start working on our model over here. Let's create an agent, and an agent is something that can follow instructions. We have our setup and our go buttons, but they don't do anything. They just print something out. They don't do much, right? Let's go to our code tab and change that. So in the setup, every time you want to run your model and you want to set it up fresh, you're going to hit that setup button. It's going to clear everything out in your model area. So we'll say clear all, and that's what clears out that model area. Now we have a timeline in NetLogo. They're called ticks, right? And ticks start at zero. You can change the speed of a tick. That's the unit of measurement, but you can assign it to like seconds, minutes, hours, years, whatever. So I'm going to say reset ticks because we're starting over. And then let's create our agent. So I'm going to say create dash and we call the agent turtles. And there's a story behind it. I forgot what it is. All right. And we're going to, we're going to make one turtle, right? You can make more than one turtle. We'll do that next. I'm going to hit this checkbox. Yep. Looking good. We're going to hit the interface tab. We're going to hit our setup. Cool. There's a turtle. All right. Now let's make the turtle move. Let's go to our code tab. And this is what this is going to happen down in the go procedure, right? That runs the model. And we're going to get rid of our print statement. And we're going to ask the turtles, because there could be more than one, we're going to ask all the turtles by saying ask turtles. That's pretty intuitive. We're going to hit that square bracket right here. That's going to group instructions. We're only going to have one right now, but we're going to add to it. Right, so we have a start square bracket, an end square bracket, and in there we are going to type forward one. So it moves your turtle forward one unit. The bigger the number, the more it's going to move. So the go procedure, every time it fires, it's going to represent one of the ticks, whether it's seconds, years, or, or days, or whatever. So we are going to fire off a tick. Let's go try that out. We're going to hit the check. Ah, oh, it's looking good. Let's go to the interface. We're going to hit the setup. We can hit it as many times as we want because there's not much going on. We hit the go. And we are moving forward one unit every time we hit that go. And then we have our ticks incrementing here. See, there's a four there. Five, six, seven. Cool. Let's go back and make more than one turtle. And we'll go over. That's the forward movement. And then let's do five turtles interface setup they're all clumped together in the center we're going to change that when we hit the go they all move forward based on how they were uh, positioned in the world which was random we can change everything what happens when we get to the edge we wrap around that's a setting i'll go over that all right so that should get you up and running we will continue the next video build on this